Hello all you Huggable Lollipops, I am Joseph the Huggist, and this is Secondhand Gaming. This is Thrift Store Finds from Goodwill. Now I found five PS2 games. I keep saying this in every video, but I'm on a PS2 game hunting, like, luxury right now, because some, like, two of these games, I was really happy to find some of these, uh, like, uh, one of these games, I'm just gonna start with that game. Disney's Treasure Planet, Planet was actually a pleasant surprise. Recording the gameplay footage, I actually didn't want to stop playing. If I didn't think I would get copyright striked for the movie footage that they had in it, I would completely do some. Grab some inter, inter, intergalactic air, space pirates, solar surfing, a cyborg cook, the loot of a thousand worlds, Set sail on the S R L S Legacy Gallo on the greatest treasure hunt of all time. Con I'm not gonna read the rest. I've never seen Treasure Planet. Planet. I don't know if it's good or not. It might be good. Might not. I don't know. So the next game I found was Scholar, which I've never heard of this game. When I looked up the price for this one, it's actually pretty decent. I don't know why. Give your enemies a ton mashing. They will never forget. Wisecracking 12-year-old Bobby Jinx has stumbled upon the next, upon his n evil next-door neighbor's plot to use a mutant lizard on army to destroy the world. Caught, Bobby is zapped by a bizarre bolt of energy that transfers into a shape-shifting alter ego scholar. 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 All right. And we have Rampage Total Destruction. And on Rampage Total Destruction, you get Rampage. I like Rampage. The movie was kind of crap, but most video game movies are. It's kind of weird. Most games based off of movies are awful. Most movies based off of games are awful. You would think those two would marry so well. Monsters on the loose. Get ready to roam, rage, and rampage your way through cities of the worlds destroying all in your path. George, Lizzie, and Ralph are all back along with 27 new monsters that you can collect and play as. Wander through 3D neighbors, 3D neighborhoods, trashing everything in sight to undercover hidden monsters and power-ups. I don't. I haven't played much of Rampage, so when I recorded the gameplay footage, I didn't know what I was doing. I still don't know what I'm doing, but I'm. I can't wait to play that game fully. Now, the next game I found was Crash Bandicoot: The Wrath of Cortex. Yep, Cortex. And it's a greatest hit game because, of course, it is. It's Crash Bandicoot. Most people love Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot is back to cr crush Cortex for good by harassing the uh, the powers of the elements. It's a Crash Bandicoot game. It's pretty awesome. All right. The next game, when I was recording gameplay footage, I got my ass kicked every single time. Which is kind of, this is kind of ironic timing because I'm on my, like, annual bender of this franchise. Every, every year there's like a point of the year where I just want to spend, do nothing but spend time with this. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> and, no manual. This is off the 2003 show, which I watched a lot of. Prepare the for ninja kick, ninja kick. Uh, prepare for ninja kick butt fighting as you face the Shredder and his vile pack of foot ninjas. I like that 2003 show. I like I I liked that game. It was it was only ironic timing because I was thinking about buying that game off of Amazon for like five dollars and then I found it at Goodwill. So it was pretty cool. All right, gameplay footage starts now. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Imbeciles, fools, nincompoops, can't you idiots do anything right? According to this, your track record for spreading evil is pathetic.
Ooga Ooga, it's not our fault. That wretched bandicoot is to blame. I will not let anything stand in the way of evil. Especially not a brainless orange marsupial. Crash must be eliminated. Uh, Ooga Ooga, need I remind you that Crash always finds a way to defeat us? Maybe he's just too good for us. Enough excuses! You five idiots need to come up with one good plan! Or else... How do I get into these situations? Ugh. There must be something we can come up with. Say, Doctor, haven't you been tinkering with some kind of new secret weapon in your laboratory? I don't know what you're talking about, Entropy. Dr. Cortex! I think he's referring to this super secret weapon you've been laboring over day and night since the last time Crash defeated you. Enough bickering! Do we have a plan? Well, in my scientific endeavors, I've been able to create a genetically advanced super weapon of unbelievable strength. But the power source is the final missing crucial. Yes! The Elementals! Right! The Elementals, that's it! If released, their destructive energy could create enough power to bring my secret weapon to life. We'd have a weapon capable of crushing mountains, demolishing entire cities, and wiping Crash Bandicoot off the face of the Earth forever! Get ready to face my wrath, Crash Bandicoot! <laughs> One all right. It appears that my evil twin brother Uka Uka is up to his no good tricks again. I must find out what he is planning. I'll meet up with you later. Ah, hello, my feeble brother. You have gotten my attention, Uka Uka. What kind of diabolical scheme do you and Dr. Cortex have planned this time? No schemes. Just some old familiar faces dropping by for a visit. <laughs> no, not the Elementals. Uka Uka, why did you release them? Don't you know what happened the last time they were free? So they were responsible for a few earthquakes, floods, and that little ice age a couple of centuries back. You worry too much, brother. You cannot restrain them, Uka Uka. They are far too dangerous. This could spell disaster for us all. <laughs> On the contrary, Aku Aku. It spells disaster for you and the precious planet you care so much about. Destroy him! You won't get away with this. <laughs> Who's going to stop us? Crash, Coco, it is just as I feared. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex have freed a group of destructive masks known as the Elementals. We must find a way to stop them before they destroy the Earth and all of its inhabitants. The only way to stop the Elementals' destructive nature is to imprison them with the use of ancient crystals. Each elemental can be returned back to their hibernation state with a total of five crystals. We must act quickly. Coco, what is the status of the new portal chamber you've been working on? It's almost finished. A few little adjustments here and there and it'll be ready to go. Well done, Coco. 
This gives us the ideal opportunity to test it. We must hurry. Crash Bandicoot, my old nemesis. How the heck are you? Still gathering crystals? Old habits die hard, don't they? My days are being spent on something much more intriguing. Meet Crunch, my newest creation. This is the creature who keeps sabotaging your master plan? Ha! <laughs> you gotta be kidding. I'll exterminate this field rat in no time. Now, Crunch, your time with Crash will come soon enough. Isn't he brilliant? A testament to my true scientific genius. A real bandicoot warrior. Unlike you, Crash. Oh well, we all make mistakes. Ta-ta for now. <laughs> What are you looking at, Fuzzhead? I'm Rocco, the Earth Elemental. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex woke me from my captive slumber, and now I'm free to pulverize whatever gets in my way. Oh, don't even think about collecting those crystals, Runt. Because if you do, I'm gonna bury you alive. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey! Ah, there you are, Jim. I've been tinkering with this map device, and I've made some startling discoveries. What are we doing here? We need to get to the planet before anyone else gets there. Treasure planet! Jim, it's that sort of attitude that will get you into serious trouble. You see? The map is somehow linked to these ancient navigational beacons. Kallian astronomic records show that there are hundreds of these beacons scattered all over the galaxy. I've located a pocket of them right here on Montressor. Jim, it is up to you to go find these beacons and see if you can activate them. I don't think you'll need any special equipment to open the beacons. But keep your wits about you. You may have to perform a task to get the job done. Don't worry, Doc. We'll be back as quick as an Alponian solar cruiser. Right, Morph? Alponian solar cruiser. I see you made the acquaintance of your old pal Murphy here. Murphy! 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 Oh, heavens! I wondered where you'd got to. I haven't seen you for ages. Uh-huh. You know Morph? That I do. And it be John Silver at your service, sir. Cook, handyman, and just between you and me, a bit of a scallywag. The docks hired me to be looking after the galley on this excursion of yours, so we'll be seeing a lot of each other. Now, Murphy here, he's an adaptable little fella. If you ever need to whack at something that's a bit stubborn, like them buttons, say, just press the jump button, followed by the attack button, and Murphy will hammer it into submission for you. <laughs> Play that giraffe, Skyler! Traploons, lad. A spacefarer's most treasured possession. Collect around hundred of them in each area that you reach, and you'll activate another beacon. <laughs> A grand morning, eh, lad? I've been checking up on these peculiar looking pads, and I reckon that they'll be right useful to our little friend Morph here. I figures that these will give him the strength of a. a cyborg, say. Might be useful if you have a need to break open anything tougher than timber. Just press the jump button over the pad, and Morph will give you all the strength you need. They're pretty useful for picking things up, too. Try crouching near a barrel and you'll see what your new muscles can do. Watch out, though, matey. These things never last for long.
Jimbo, you'll find these here green enemies wherever you roll. Collect enough of them, and it's a beacon you'll be getting.
dimension here giving them some special TLC soon they'll hatch into super soldiers Boot camp you ask the questions you idiot you don't answer them sorry sir my apologies sir what a wimp are you sure your name isn't captain bootlick Boot camp! <laughs>
get that lizard before he ruins everything! After him, he's crossed into our world! license plate number of that truck? <sighs> I got to stop eating that chili right before I hit the sack. Uh... It always gives me weird dreams.
You're one ugly figment of my imagination. You aren't so easy on the eyes either, small, blue, and gruesome. You talk? Only to ugly blue creatures. Name's Leon. Leon? That was my father's name. Was? He left us when I was young. Oh, that's rough, kid. Kid? How about you call me Scaler? Really? This must be yours. Movie abuses lizard on set, activist protests at premiere. Twelve-year-old boy scales Exoff building to save the lizards. Kid lives in tree for four months to protect unique lizard habitat. You're quite the troublemaker. Lizard freedom fighter, thank you. ready for a lesson in SmackDown! Time for a little mean and green! Slice and dice! 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 Sl
Slice and dice! Head fake! Slice and dice! 